Hey everybody, Brownie here from Ida Hockey, joined with Ken Cashman, who's the director of apparel for Bauer Hockey. Uh, Ken, thanks for having us out. Before we get into the tech and spec of your new base layer, uh, your base layer line, how would you really describe the fit profile and maybe some key differences between your lines? Sure, sure. Thanks, Brandon. Yeah, I'm glad you brought up the fit this year because we changed the fit versus prior years. We made the arms a little tighter so it doesn't interfere when you're putting your elbow pads on. The body will fit the same as prior seasons for Bauer. Uh, we've got three base layers this year. We've got Elite, Performance, and Pro. We've always had Performance and Pro. It used to be Pro and Essentials. Essentials is now Performance, and we added an Elite base layer. So why don't we start with the Elite, and I can tell you a little bit about that. Sure. So let's start off with the Elite. You know, what are some of the key technologies that really separate it from the rest of the line? Yeah, for sure. So the Elite's a new price point for us this year, and the big thing is its construction, right? It's seamless construction. So if you feel that, brand, it's super comfortable pro uh, material, but also when you do seamless, you can knit uh, ventilation zones right into the garment. Right, so you're not, you're not cut and sewing just a bunch of different pieces together. You can do different stitches throughout the entire garment. So at the bottom here, where your belly is, uh, it, it's, it's stitched a little thicker, right? Because when you're on the ice, that's the one area that might get cold. Mm -hmm. As you come up, you got ventilation zones uh, stitched right in for more airflow. We map this with our shoulder pads as well. Okay. And you'll see it on the arms as well. And then when you get down to the bottom here, it's reinforced stitching, so where your elbow pads get on to resist snagging. Same thing on the bottom on the pants, right, for the shin guard. Mm -hmm. um, and again, the fabric, you feel that hand feel, Brandon, it's super, super comfortable. It is, totally. We also added a, a technology this year that we've never used before called uh, High Q Smart Temp. Okay. And Haikyuu Smart Temp, it's, it's really the world's first dynamic cooling system, so it reacts with your body. It, 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 it can detect when the body starts, uh, body temperature starts rising, okay. and you start perspiring more, and then it will evaporate moisture faster when you're hot and slower when you're cold, so it reacts to your body. And it's been tested to uh, decrease temperature up to 4.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Which is a lot, right? And, we, and that's what HiQ fed us, but we also went to our labs in Blainville and reconstructed this, and we tested to almost the exact same results. Okay. So this, this product's real. So, it, so although it feels real comfortable, and it feels like it might be a, he a little heavier when you get out on the ice, it's going to keep you cool. Oh my gosh, so it does everything. It uh, keeps you comfortable, regulates <laughs> your body temperature. Yeah, yeah, and then one other thing we added this year, in the past we used uh, sanitize for our odor treatment. And this year we're using another technology from HiQ called HiQ Fresh. And it's important to know both HiQ Fresh and HiQ Smart Temp are both fully non-biocidal material and sustainable. And what does that mean, right? So biocidal, that's silver and copper and, and zinc, what we used to use before. Uh, and it's, it's heavily regulated. When you go to a non-biocidal, it's, it's considered totally safe to the body. It's not regulated at all. Um, and then also it's, it's, it's all sustainable, so it's great for the environment. So you get the same, and it works. <laughs> so right. if, you, if you test this for odor efficacy, it's testing as good or better than our old sanitized treatment, and we're, we're doing some good things for the environment as well. So if you've had a problem with, you know, gear getting stinky, this is going to be the base layer for you. For sure. You know what? I mean, yeah, and base layer, it's a little easier to control. You know, there's a lot of odor you can, uh, management you can put in equipment too, but it's harder, mm -hmm. right? It's such, right. A, it's such an active area. Mm -hmm. But on base layer, I mean, again, you can, uh, it, it works really well. You can throw it in your bag, take it out. I mean, uh, I would still recommend hanging this and drying it because okay. you can feel that material right. is a little different. It'll, we, we've tested it so it'll dry equal to our other base layer, but I wouldn't recommend any base layer just chucking it in your bag and right. taking it out for the next game without hanging it and letting it dry a little bit. Okay, right on. Well, let's move on down to the pro. Sure. So what do we got going on there? So one of the things, let's just start with design. You know, a little cool element we did this year different is we added this new uh, design on the neck. You can see it's kind of got this like hockey, hockey design that we haven't done before. Mm -hmm. But on the Pro, uh, still has HiQ Smart Temp, still has HiQ Fresh. So at the Pro level, we never had a, a, a temperature regulation technology. So that's new for us. The entire back is ventilated. You'll also see you got ventilation here in, in the front. Um, it's, you know, it, it's a poly fabric mm -hmm. uh, with spandex, so it's got some compression, but very, you know, very... Uh, a lot of stretch. Okay. You know, you got ventilation also in throughout the pant in the front, and then also fully on the seat. You also have your grip print on the sleeves, right, to 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 help keep those elbow pads in place. Keep them locked in, not twisting around. And then we got one more. And uh, the last one, yeah, we go lastly to our performance. So our performance very similar to what we've done in the past. It's still a, a poly stretch fabric, but not as rich as we did for the Pro. Mm -hmm. uh, still have the full ventilation in the back, uh, but not in the front. 
We've got some cool design pops here with the white, and you also see the collars. People are starting to cut their collars. Yep. Uh, we didn't want to go to a full V-neck, so we just did this cross collar. Okay. You could still cut it if you wanted to, but it'll give you a little bit more of that room and, and uh, without actually having a V-neck or cutting your collar. So. Okay, so a lot more comfortable underneath the shoulder pads. For sure, for sure. And this is not a grip print. This is just a, a design element. Uh, when you go to the pant, uh, again, you get the ventilation in the front like you had in the Pro, but you don't have any of the ventilation in the back. Okay. Uh, so again, it's it still, and, and also has HiQ Fresh, does not have HiQ Smart Temp. Okay. So again, at its price point, we think it's uh, super. It's just, uh, again, it, it's similar to what we've done in the past. Totally. I guess just with a new design and some different uh, elements here. Totally, ton of value here. So for that uh, player who's looking for, you know, added protection in the, in the neck area, what do you have to offer? For sure, we also upgraded our neck protect, integrated neck uh, protect shirt. Very similar in the past, right? Easy to get on and off, full Velcro. We use Kevlar. We're the only hockey company that is allowed to use Kevlar and market it. Okay. Uh, so, and you know, Kevlar just, it's, it's really, consumers understand it, they know it. It's got a very high cut rating. Uh, very same fabric we use on the Pro. You also have the, uh, the grip print sleeves. Um, and, and you have the ventilation. So other than that, you're, you're just getting the pro base layer basically with a, a full neck guard. So this yeah. is all base layer, but there's some that actually, you know, that we have a jock in, right? So when you go to the performance, we still have a full, we have the pant, but we also have a full jock sh uh, pant and a full jock short. Okay, on the pro, we don't have that because last year we introduced core short. So the core short one jock and, and uh, pant and short will replace our lock jock in the past. That's going to be your your new pro okay. uh, jock for pant and short. And for you know extending the lifespan of your base layer, do you have any tips or tricks that would help a player? Yeah, for sure. I mean, the big thing, guys, is just take it out of your bag, wash it in cold water, uh, and, and hang it to dry. And don't just leave it in for multiple games. It's got over resistance, so you could. But I mean, the best thing to do: wash it in cold water, keep it with like things, and then with the elite. Don't wash this with like a, 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 a jock that has Velcro tabs because anything Velcro could, could snag on this product. So okay. wash this by itself. Sounds good. Thank you so much for taking us through that base layer line. Thanks, Brandon. And then for you at home, if you're looking for any more individual information, you can head over to icewarehouse.com.